Using Office 365 online is fast and easy. Simply log in to student email using your regular login information. At the top of the screen, you can see a link to OneDrive. Click that. And here's where your documents will be stored. To start a new document, click this link, New Document. You can create a Word document, an Excel workbook, a PowerPoint presentation, a OneNote workbook, or an Excel survey. For this example, we will open a Word document. First, you give it a name. Click OK. And now you can just type your document. It saves as you go, so you've already named it. You don't need to worry about saving. Um, after you finish your document, you just need to give it a little time to save those final words or thoughts that you just put down. To exit Word, click File and Exit. This takes you back to the Documents screen and you can see the document that we created right there. If I click to open it, there's my document. If I want to edit this document, I just click Edit Document. And here I choose Edit in Word Online. It opens back to where we were, and I can add more information. It will save automatically, and I click File and Exit again. If I want to create a PowerPoint, I click New Document and select PowerPoint Presentation. First of all, you have to give it a name. Click OK. And it opens to your title page. There's your title page. You can add a subtitle or you can put who it's by. To add a new slide, click New Slide. You can choose here what type of slide you want. Most common is the title and content. Select that, click Add Slide. Title your slide. And add your content. Just hit Enter and it will give you a new bullet point. To add a new slide, click New Slide. You can choose the same. For continuity, I would choose the same one, Add Slide. So all my slides look the same. I put my slide title and add my thoughts. OK. This has saved as I've gone along. I want to give it just a little bit of time to record my last entry. Now I'll click File and Exit. And there's my PowerPoint. I'll open it to check to make sure everything's there. Here's my title page. Here's slide one. Slide two did not get all of my last thoughts. So I will edit presentation, edit in PowerPoint online. It shows that my last entries are there. So I'll just give it a minute and click File and exit again. Now this time when I open my PowerPoint, title page, Slide 1, slide 2, and the rest of my entries are there. 
So I can exit that and back to our document page. One thing I want to point out is these little three dots. What if I want to delete this assignment? I can click those three dots and I can get a preview of what that page looks like. I can edit it or I can click these three dots at the bottom and now I can delete. Okay, for the PowerPoint, if I click those three little dots, I get a, I can preview my PowerPoint and I can delete it if I want. Okay, another thing that I can do, maybe I want to save this to my computer. I want to copy, I click File, Save As, and choose Download then I can download this onto whatever computer I'm working on. The beauty of having this available is no matter where I go, I can be on campus, I can be at home, I can be on the beach in the Bahamas, wherever I log into my email, I have my documents available to work on. So from here, if I wanted to perhaps submit my PowerPoint to an assignment in Blackboard. I would have to open it. I would have to download a copy. So I'll save as and download to my computer. And then I can open Blackboard find that file, and upload it as my assignment. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much.